This video was sponsored by NVIDIA Studio. In today's video, I'm editing your photos again in Photoshop. The theme would be Christmas, but try turning this into Christmas. Yeah, let's stick with winter instead. I'm not wearing this Christmas hat because I want to, it's because my hair looks like this. If you want to send your photo for the next episode, make sure to send it to editingyourphotos at bennyproductions.net and then the first one was sent in by Patrick. Hi, I have a submission for you, my good sir. Feel free to do whatever you want with it. Friendly regards from Patrick. Thank you very much. This is simply a badass photo, so let's drop this into Photoshop and get going. But first, wait, first I want to announce something very, very cool. Ladies and gentlemen, it's December, which means it's the season of giving and as you know probably from my latest music video that's exactly what i'm gonna do i teamed up with nvidia to give you this absolutely insane prize i'm super hyped about that but more on that later because first i want to tell you something about me about my journey as a youtuber and photoshop artist now, my personal YouTube story, as some of you may know, is a bit of a funny story actually. It all happened by accident. After starting to post my hobby made Photoshop edits on Instagram, I started growing quite rapidly and before I knew it, I reached 10,000 followers. I decided, you know what, let's move this audience to YouTube and three months later, I hit 100,000 subscribers, which is just insane. That's insane. At the time, I still made instructive Photoshop content, but this quickly changed after I realized there's already so much of that out there. I wanted to be different. I wanted to stand out. And this is why I switched to a more entertaining type of videos. And before I knew it, a year later, I reached a million subscribers, something I never thought I could possibly reach. But not only my audience got bigger, my files did too. As you may know, I tend to go crazy with Photoshop and like it or hate it, this requires a good system. That's where the MSI Creator Z16 is an absolute gem. The device you can win. Equipped with a GeForce RTX 3060 graphics card, you're a million times faster at more than 70 of the most popular creative applications. Think of my personal favorites, After Effects and Photoshop, but also Premiere Pro and 3D software like Blender, Maya, or others like OBS Studio, DaVinci Resolve, or Unity. Using OBS and Photoshop simultaneously used to be a chore, but ever since I'm using Nvidia graphics cards, it's been so much smoother. Also, what I personally love most is how the filters like Blur Gallery, Liquify and Perspective Warp are faster as well. They are in pretty much all of my edits. Now I can see through this screen how excited you are to get one for yourself, so if you want to win one, here is what you need to do to enter this giveaway. It is actually quite simple. Follow NVIDIA Creators on Instagram and there you'll find out more about what you need to do to enter. Massive thanks to NVIDIA Studio for sponsoring. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Photoshop. Let's let's get straight into it. First of all, we have our beautiful subject, which I am going to mask out using the pen tool. Once again, you know it. So let's go all around the edge. Very fun to watch. All the way here and boom. And I guess we should put him somewhere here. Seems about right. Now I want to start with the background for which I found this beautiful background photo. I'm going to put it right here, I guess. And then I have this other photo right here, this one, which I'm going to put on the other side. Side. I was thinking somewhere here. I think we can simply remove its background. Uh, there you go. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, well, that works. Then I somehow have to merge these into each other and I'm thinking this is not actually so bad. Check that out. Now I just have to fix the color. There is going to be a bunch of blue in here. It's it's basically all blue. However, maybe we first should make the background a bit brighter because I want this to be very... Like, actually, just daylight. See, this is starting to look like something. Now, the entire middle area right here, I don't even care because it's completely covered by this guy. So, no worries there whatsoever. I also want to add, like, a sky to fill the entire sky, of course. Makes sense. So, for that, I'm going to use this one. I'm going to make that a bit more bluish, too. There you go. And then I'll simply try and fade it out. The sky has to be pretty freaking bright. So, let's do something like this. Yeah, that's pretty good. Then here in the back. Background, I want to add some haze because uh, I feel like it should be hazy there. That's my explanation for literally anything. It's just I think it should be there, so why not just put it there? Paint a bunch of hazy light right about there. There you go, look at that. 
that's nice. Just a little bit all over the place. Beautiful. Look, now it is starting to look like something. I like that. Okay, so if we add back our main guy, there he is. Um, we should probably go and add a camera raw filter first, especially where it's really black. We need some uh, extra detail. There you go. Look at that. And then hit OK. And now we should add some blue filters. First of all, a little bit of desaturation like that and some blue vibes as well. Mm, yes, yes, that seems pretty good. Now, before fixing all of that, first, I want to add some more soldiers. For example, this one right here, it's going to be standing right behind him. Something like that looks pretty badass. And you guessed it, this guy is also going to need a lot more blue than he's got right now. Just like that. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Now, to this background, I do want to add some blur because I feel like that's really going to sell this one. Not too much. I feel like 21 should be golden. Yeah, let's go with this. Then hit OK. And then it should be pretty cool. So right now, there's a bunch of light coming from pretty much everywhere. So to fix the lighting on this guy, we are going to have to add some highlights. I mean, who would have guessed? So let's go and grab our brush and uh, paint some highlights on the desired areas. Mostly going to be on the outside areas, if that makes sense. Because generally, of course, the light is coming from above, mostly. So that means that on top, we need to add the most highlights by far. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Everywhere you go. Yeah, this is gonna look nice. And we need a bunch of highlights on his hair, most of all. Pretty sure that's gonna have the biggest impact. And last but not least, on the gun, of course. Especially because it's metal, that's kind of shiny. So we do need a bunch of highlights on this this one as well. Very, very important. I find that his hand right here is just a bit too bright given the circumstances. So I'm going to make it a tiny bit darker. Not too much, just a little bit. I feel like that's that's just enough. And then also this area right here seems a bit too bright. There you go. Same goes for this. I also think that since this guy is standing behind him, he also needs some shadows, especially down here. So let's go and add some like that. And you know what? We may as well just do some highlights already too, because we're busy anyway. Then we have that over with because it's by far the most work of everything I have to do. So, well, just like that. Very nice and bright. One thing that's triggering me though is that this eye looks completely different than this one. So I am just going to go ahead and copy this one, move it all the way to the other one. There you go. We'll make it a bit smaller so it fits. That actually looks super decent. Like, it may as well be real. So then we'll put the same one on the other side. There you go. Yeah, I think that looks actually a lot better than before. Also makes it a bit more cohesive and stuff. So yeah, I like that. What if we add a little mist right here next to the main guy? Just right there. A little bit nice and subtle. And now that we're at it anyway, I may as well add some more haze on the foreground as well. Just a bit over the shoulders of this guy. And a little bit down here maybe. To kind of smudge everything together just a little bit more. Some haze on the very bright areas is also never a bad idea. For example, here on his hair, it's pretty freaking bright. I was also thinking... What what if we add some tiny snowflakes on here because later I'm gonna add falling snow and I think maybe just a bit of snowflakes stuck on his coat may just look nice but I, I could be wrong. If I overdo this though it's gonna look incredibly fake so it has to be super subtle maybe like this. Yes that actually does add something. I'm surprised that actually works like it looks so shitty. <laughs> oh well a surprise to be sure but a welcome one which makes me think should we also add this on other areas like his hands for example or is that too much maybe a little bit on the gun as well I guess a little bit doesn't hurt it looks looks okay Ooh, and in his hair most of all yes I should probably go and add some snow now there you go put this on screen so it's nice and transparent and then I guess we can just put it in the sky in the background put one on this side and then the same thing on the other side Side. And then in the foreground, we probably want some bigger snowflakes. So we'll put one over it like this. Now, we don't want too much of these guys covered. So I am going to remove some of them just by painting over some areas like this. Yeah, that seems a bit better. Then on the very top, I want to add some of these very big snowflakes or particles, whatever the heck they are. To add some final little detail there. This once again is going to be very subtle, not too much. Something like this, I think 
should be pretty cool. Then maybe something that could spice it up just a little bit more is a soldier right in the back here as well. Just right there. Because I feel like it's a bit empty otherwise on that side. Let's add a little blur to this guy. For him, we even need an actual shadow as well. Because he's actually touching the ground. We can see it. So therefore, it needs a shadow. I'm gonna try something very simple here. Just like this. I feel like something simple... Wow. That is good. I thought this was going to be a bigger deal, but apparently it's not. Okay, well, that's nice. Then I am extremely curious what this guy is going to look like with a camera raw filter. I'm not sure if it's entirely finished yet, but we can always add some new stuff later. Here we are. Let's see. Let's add some clarity because that's always one of the most important things I do. We also want the whites to pop, so let's increase those. Maybe... A little more shadows. Some sharpening is also pretty much always a good idea to make it just a bit more crisp. And you know what? I think right about here we should be golden. So I'm gonna hit OK and then I guess... Wait for it. There you go. I actually quite like how this one turned out. It's, uh, it's a little different than usual, I feel like. It's golder. And I know it's not exactly Christmas, but at least it's winter, which is... I mean, it has to count for something. Anyways... Let's go back to the studio. Very, very nice. I'll send this back to you ASAP. And uh, today we are doing only two photos, but worry not because later this month we are doing two more. So that's epic. Now the next one was sent in by Glenn. Firstly, I'd like to say I love your YouTube channel and what you do. I'd love it if you can do one of mine. I love spooky and haunting looking graveyards. Well, Glenn, I'll see what I can do. And here we are back in Photoshop. I've got my photo right about here and I'm not even gonna, I'm gonna let you guess. That's right, we're gonna mask him out with, of course, the pen tool. So uh, let's let's just skip this. Uh, we've seen this enough. There you go. Was that so hard? Okay, so now I am gonna drag in a background photo. To be exact, this one. This guy requested a graveyard, so that's exactly what we're gonna do. But it's also gonna be a little Christmas-ish. Christmasy. Christmas kind of like this so you can still see this tree right here now I didn't really think this through but we're gonna have to sort of mask out these trees and I think quick selection might just do the trick now this is of course never gonna be perfect but I guess we can see how far we get like that and then we can see uh, yeah no that's not so great maybe the refine edge will work oh yes that does actually work yeah this should be fine let's hit okay and then there you go at this guy back and that is beautiful then in the background we maybe should add some mountains like these something like that and then the same thing on the other side and in the sky here let's make it nice and dark there you go that's nice let's make the background black to see a little better what we're doing um let's see what then the light on this guy's face is obviously coming from the left so we should probably add some light coming from the left on the trees as well so let's make them a bit brighter first and then i'm gonna add some light sort of like this i hope this will work because there's a big chance of this looking absolutely ridiculous but we shouldn't forget that this is gonna be slightly blurred so we won't see the complete details just like that beautiful in general the background could be a bit darker I'm thinking something like this shouldn't be so bad I also want to add some clouds in the sky like these I'm gonna put this on luminosity there you go oh that's instantly pretty good. And then we get to erase some of these areas we don't want to see. Here you go. Beautiful. Obviously, this guy already has highlights, but I'm going to add some more because th that's what I do. And also because I think it will make it look just a bit more stylized and artistic. Just a little bit on the left side, most of all. See, that does add something for sure. It's not, not done yet. But uh, it's it's nice. It's nice. This is before. This is after. There's a major difference there. Much better. Um. Then what? A little bit of light coming from the left again, of course, right here, because that's where he's being lit from. I feel like just a bit of haze or mist or light may just help make it look a bit more realistic. You can add a tint of blue to it to make it a bit more cohesive. There you go. I also had this idea to make it a bit more spooky since he said he likes that. Um, what if we add like a skull on the right side of his face since it's a bit darker there. First I'm gonna try and make this align with his face. Something like this I think should be golden. Then I gotta erase everything above the hat of course. And then let's see if I just kind of 
erase it from the left area. It shouldn't be too obvious. It has to be very subtle. A little bit of detail there. Yeah, that's pretty good. Then we have to add some color because this obviously looks very strange. First of all, it should be desaturated a whole lot. Probably also want to make it a little bit darker like this and then add some blue to it as well. And maybe we can let his eye shine through just a tiny bit. And in there, we can add a very creepy lit up eye maybe something like this could be very cool let's remove the edges and then i will put it just inside his eye right there that is pretty cool yeah yeah then all we need is a tiny bit of glow around it just like this and maybe even some light bouncing off here and there it's got to be very subtle but just a little bit could maybe help make it look even more creepy you know what maybe it would be cool since it's supposed to be winter we can add some snow to these trees and i know what you're thinking are you gonna do this manually over the whole thing yes if it looks good a for effort just something like this it's not even so hard it's just painting a little bit of white stuff all over the branches now would you look at this i mean that's a snowy tree right now the only problem is we have to do the other ones as well i guess this works fine as well see it's just a bit more snowy than it was before now i have a few of these headstones which i'm gonna place down here and there i've got the same one from two different angles this one very good and i also have this tiny one so uh let's see where are we gonna put these i'm thinking this one may be here in the back and then the big one a bit more towards the front right here and the small one i'm gonna put right about here somewhere now first of all they have to be a lot darker and a bit more contrasty and then we are also going to have to add a lot of blue just like this and some highlights on top as well because the light is coming from here and down here we have to make it look like it's stuck in the snow somehow i'm guessing just like this should work pretty fine then i will use the exact same technique to add some snow on top of this headstone as well painting a bit of white stuff on top of it nothing special make it fade out a little bit on the side here and then it should be all good absolutely Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. I didn't think it was going to look that good. Okay, well, next. It's basically the exact same thing, so I'm not going to show you over and over again. I'll see you in 3, 2, 1. And there you go. You know what? Now that I think of it, I don't think we should blur the background. All of a sudden, it kind of looks good like this, which is strange because it looked so awful just now. But well, I guess uh, the snow really did do something right. Now I'm again going to add some snow, but this time it cannot be too much. It has to be super subtle. So I'm going to do this right here, remove it and then softly paint some of them back with my brush. Something like this. There you go. Nice and soft. By the way, I almost forgot that means we also need snow on his shoulders, of course, because uh, and his hat also because there is snow everywhere so it would only make sense i just hope that it's gonna look better than this because this is pathetic to say the least yeah this is starting to come together nicely i like it and then finally some bigger snowflakes on the front as well and that should then be pretty much it i actually like this it does look a bit different than what i thought it was gonna look like but i guess it's a nice surprise let's add a camera raw filter and see what happens here we go let's see what we can change here i mean it's nothing new it's just the usual stuff i guess yeah and there you have it i yeah uh, like i said it's different than what i thought but i really really like how it turned out let's go back to the studio i think both of these turned out pretty good it's different than usual because i barely ever do snowy edits but let me know in the comments down below which one you like best and if you want to send your photo you know exactly where to send it to massive thanks to nvidia for sponsoring this video once again and don't forget to enter the giveaway by following nvidia creators on instagram i'm pretty sure that's it for today if you like this video make sure to leave a like and a comment and if you enjoy my overall content feel very very free to subscribe because that would actually mean the world to me then i hope i'll see you in my next video